Bostradamus here, NFL Week 8, Halloween weekend, Jacksonville, Tennessee starting it off. I saw this one Monday when I was looking at the Monday night game. It's their, uh, Tennessee's three and a half point favorite, and rightfully so. I was high on Jacksonville early in the year, but they haven't really improved much this year on offense or defense. Definitely not much of a running game, and Tennessee does have a nice running game with Murray, Henry. So I think they're definitely going to try to run the football and uh, just have some big play action plays. Maybe Mariota make some plays with his feet as well. I think they'll uh, win and cover 24 17, something like that. Uh, I'd like to see Hearns in particular and some guys on Jack Jacksonville get going, but uh, basically, I believe it when you see it at this point, the way they played. Washington at Cincinnati. This is a great matchup. I thought Cincinnati would be a four and a half point favorite because I thought the game was in Cincinnati, but it's in London and they're three. If this was in Washington, it'd be real hard to pick. Uh, I like Cincinnati to win uh, 20, 24 20, something like that. The over under is 46 and a half. Um, both have looked good at times on offense, other times they haven't. AJ Green has always looked good though i think he'll have a big game Bengals are also starting to get bernard going a little bit and i think he'd be a, a good matchup in this game washington's getting jones involved a little bit but cousins still hasn't looked as sharp as he did when they were uh they started to hit their stride about this time last season too though so this will be a real interesting game but i think cincinnati will win had a Green Bay at Atlanta. This game got moved to 4 o'clock. This is one of the best matchups this week. Uh, just expected to be another high point, to, point total, 53. Last week, Falcons had a shootout with the uh, Chargers. Gave it up at the end. Green Bay hadn't looked great. They had to beat Chicago last week. So, still trying to figure out what to think about them. I think Atlanta might defensively uh maybe be able to contain Green Bay and their offense has been real sharp. So I think they'll win and cover here. Um Matt Ryan's thrown fourth quarter picks in the last two games. If he does that and gets Green Bay momentum up, they'll probably come back and win. But uh I they gotta get out to an early lead. Gotta get uh Freeman's gotta stay healthy and have a big game with Coleman out. But uh, Freeman's look great, and I think he'll look good in this game. Julio will probably do his thing, and uh, Atlanta will win and cover. Detroit at Houston. I thought Houston would be a two-and-a-half point favorite, and they are. Uh, not not the most interesting game. Um, I, this is kind of a, a coin flipper here. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna take Detroit even though Houston's defense is probably a bad matchup for Detroit. I think this will be a low scoring game. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins hasn't really gotten involved and looked like he did last season. So the Heat will definitely be on Osweiler if he doesn't uh, play well in this game. Uh, already patience is <laughs> running out with him, and Houston's definitely he's still in the division race though if they win. It's, no one's going to run away with that division, so they'll definitely be fired up for that one. Seattle at New Orleans. This is a great matchup. I was hoping Seattle would be a three-and-a-half point favorite. They're only three. Um, defensively, we're definitely uh, – Seattle's definitely going to get after Drew Brees. They're going to have to. But Seattle is susceptible to the deep ball, and New Orleans throws deep ball after deep ball. So it'll be interesting. Earl Thomas has had a great season. Uh, he's been playing in the short zone, uh, creeping up a little bit on defense. And uh, I don't know if he'll be able to do that this game. with Brandon Cooks is so dangerous if he'll have to uh, keep an eye on him. And then that'll get the, the short passing game going for New Orleans. But I think Seattle will get back on track on, on offense. they gotta got to run the ball. Most of their losses the last three years are when they don't run the ball real well. Um, 
had the draw last week, and M Michael looked good, but they quit running the ball and uh, uh, had a lot of incompletions. Jimmy Graham had a couple drops last week, but he's been fantastic the last four or five weeks overall, a few hundred-yard games. This is return to New Orleans. Um, I, I think he'll he'll get it going here. I think New Orleans will try and watch him too. So hopefully Seattle will get their run game going and be able to win and cover and uh, either get some uh, sack fumbles or interceptions on Breeze and uh, win by a touchdown or so. New England at Buffalo. I, I thought Buffalo's looked all right, so they'd be a four and a half point underdog at home, but they're six and a half. New England's looks so great, and um, Buffalo gave up all those rushing yards last week. But Garrett Blunt's a good back, so I think they'll definitely try and run it uh, and, and just try and overpower Buffalo. Uh, they are the better team uh, and the deeper team, too. Um, I think Tyrod Taylor will probably have a, a good game. He's a gamer. They only lost this game by three in a high-scoring game last last year when they played Buffalo early in the season at home. But I think this time around, uh, New England will do their thing. Probably win by at least seven, maybe maybe ten. Uh, Buffalo's got to run the ball, and uh, you know, if McCoy doesn't play, it's definitely going to be a long game for them. Jets at Cleveland. Uh, one of the more least interesting games this week. I thought the Jets would be... Uh, Three and a half, and they are three and a half point favorite just because they haven't looked that great. Cleveland hung in there a few games, uh, probably could have won at home against Baltimore early in the season. So they might get fired up for this because this is not, uh, uh, this is one of the teams you kind of want to play right now, the Jets. But I, I think Fitzpatrick will get back every time he his back's against the wall. He, he came back and won last week. Uh, he's down to basically just Brandon Marshall and uh, Forte had a good game last week. They're obviously going to try and get him going. So I think they will. I think they'll win and cover not, nothing crazy, probably 20-13. Not, not a real fun game to watch. Uh, they looked better on defense last week. So uh, Cleveland's the kind of team that might be able to sh shut down. So I think they'll get back on track. Oakland at Tampa Bay. I thought Oakland would be a one and a half point favorite, and they're a one point underdog. Tampa Bay is the favorite. Uh, Oakland stayed in Florida this week after uh, beating Jacksonville. Um, this is a real high over under 49 and a half, 50. Probably will be shootout style game. Evans is, looks like he could be a top 10 receiver in the league, and uh, Winston's. Looks like a young quarterback and can get them the ball. So Tampa Bay's on a third string running back, uh, Quiz Rogers from Oregon State and the uh, Atlanta Falcons. And he's had real big games back to back. But, uh, you know, the other two guys aren't playing. Uh, and o Oakland's running game's been a uh, committee, hadn't been that great either. So I think both teams are going to toss it around a lot, um, which might favor Tampa Bay. But I'm going to pick Oakland just because I've been on their bandwagon for a couple years now. I, I picked them to win the division this year. K KC at Indy. I thought uh, KC would be uh, a three-point favorite or so. And uh, the two and a half. I had them two. Because this is an interesting matchup. Overrunners 50. Colts uh, finally held a team to 24 last week, but they've been giving up a ton of points this year. They've been scoring a, a ton also. KC's going to be a bad matchup for them, I would think, defensively. Real interesting matchup will be Marcus Peters versus T.Y. Hilton. Peters has uh, got five picks, defensive rookie of the year last year, but he also got burned a couple times early in the season, and, and Hilton's a guy that will burn you for sure if you uh, bite on anything or Sometimes he's just got flat out speed. So I, I like the Chiefs um, just because I, I think they'll uh, frustrate luck. This was a crazy playoff game a few years ago. So if, if they're not out big, though, Indy's definitely 
if Indy's within seven down the stretch, they're going to have a great shot to win for sure. San Diego at Denver. I thought Denver would uh, only be uh, three and a half point favorite. San Diego looked good in a win last week and uh, looked pretty good the week before that. Um, they're actually five and a half point underdog. Denver probably is uh, a bad matchup. I think both teams are are going to be a bad matchup for the offenses. And the over-unders are only 44. So the AFC West Stout shootout might not happen this game. Uh, Denver, I like their running game a little bit better. Melvin Gordon, I was a big fan of him coming out of uh, Wisconsin. Uh, he's looking way better this year. So... I think both teams are going to try and run the ball and make do the quick passing plays because uh, both have great defenses, but Denver's got the better defense, so I'm, I'm going to take Denver. Anything over five, I, I don't know about that. I, I figured this, getting five and a half, six, I would maybe take San Diego with the points, but I, I think Denver will win by four or five. Uh, I think this will be like a 2017-type game. But if that's the case, you might, you might like uh, Rivers. He's got a lot more experience than uh, Denver's quarterbacks. Arizona, Carolina. I thought Carolina would be a small favorite. Uh, they beat this team. I thought they'd be a three-point, and they are, but it's, it's going to two-and-a-half. Arizona uh, hasn't looked great, but they look better in Carolina this year, who's just kind of stunk it up uh, after having such a – <laughs> Unbelievable season last year, really. Uh, pretty good playoff game last year against Arizona. The overrunner's 48. I kind of like that because uh, Carolina's secondary's been terrible, and uh, Arizona's definitely got the receivers to beat, beat you deep. And they're, start and they're running the ball really well. Carolina needs to get back to running the ball, get their identity back from last, last year. If they don't do that in this game, uh, they're going to they're gonna lose. Uh, I like Arizona to uh, win straight up in a close game. Um, they had some offensive line injuries in their interior. Their guards were out, and uh, that, that would be a bad uh, trouble because Carolina's got a huge front line. Uh, the tackles are great, Latui. And uh, if, if they get after Palmer, they'll, they'll definitely win. But uh, I, th I think Arizona's a better team, better coaches. So I think they'll win a, a tight game, probably high scoring though. Philly at Dallas is a fantastic Sunday night game. Two young quarter quarterbacks going to be their first of many possible rivalry game moving forward here. I thought Dallas would be a big uh, five and a half point favorite, and they're uh, they're only four and a half. Might be five by game time. Because Philly has looked pretty good. And um, I think Wentz will be a, a good quarterback. I think Sproles might have a good game in, in this matchup. But uh, I think Dallas' defense and just overall they're better. I think they'll win by at least uh, five, maybe maybe six or so. Uh, might be a low-scoring game. Uh, the runner's only 43 and a half. Even if Des Bryant comes back soon, who knows if he'll be in sync. Uh, Prescott's got Prescott's been fine without him so far, too. And I think he'll be fine in this game. Uh, still figuring out this Philly team. Got new new coach, new quarterback. Um, okay, pretty good receivers, not the greatest. Uh, so I, I like Dallas's chances. Uh, well, it'll be a great robbery going forward. You got uh, Minnesota at Chicago. Terrible Monday night matchup. Uh, I thought Minnesota would be uh, only a three and a half because they hadn't looked. They took the bad loss last week. But they're five and a half to six. And I don't see any reason why they wouldn't beat uh, Chicago by a touchdown. Uh, spread probably went up because Cutler's playing. Cutler's back. So Minnesota will probably have a field day defensively. Uh Good field position for Bradford. And, uh, I think he'll have a better week than he did last week, and and they might be able to run the ball a little bit better, even though they don't have the greatest backs right now with Peterson out. All right, happy Halloween, bitches.